Super important notice, this video is educational purpose only, do not do any illegal activities on these uh, servers, these are provided for free by companies and are not made and provided to be abused of. Do not use, do not abuse those services, do not overuse them. I got striked, that's why I'm saying all of this and it's really important guys, do not do bad things on these servers, they're for free. For a reason, please respect that. Have a nice video. All these videos have one thing in common. Do you know what it is? Well, nearly all of them are exactly the same technique. All they're gonna ask you to do is go to GitHub, fork a repository, do a few things with ngrock, and boom, you have a VM. The good part of it is that you get a VM. The bad part of it is that it's overused. Everyone uses that and we don't really like what's overused. So today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a free web RDP or simply how to get a free Windows VPS. Let's get started. Uh, Learn.Microsoft, okay? Learn.Microsoft, uh, will offer you for an hour around uh, a free uh, RDP. You can create Linux, you can create Windows, you can create nearly everything you want. And for this, we're just gonna go to the exercise three here and we're gonna need to connect. I'm just gonna connect using my uh, school email. Why? No reason, you, you don't need to have a school email. You can just create a simple um, account it will work just as fine uh, and I do not know how to do a capture probably this one and three am I a robot I don't know I, I thought I was a robot maybe I was um, after when you're done creating your Microsoft account I think everyone has a Microsoft account but in case you can create one's very straightforward after you're gonna have to um, revise your authorizations and it's going to re-ask you if you're a robot they, they really don't want me to be a robot okay and when that's done it's going to check if anything is available and it's going to connect you to it and start it okay so now that that's done we have one hour remaining we're going to use this link we're going to open it like this and it's going to bring us to um the portal there we go uh, by the way, if you're asking what was this, this was just for the, the first page. Uh, I'm doing everything at the same time, it's quicker. If you have this kind of screen, that means it works, alright? So now we're going to create a virtual machine. Like so, the perfect, we're going to use the learn group. And I'm going to call this name Procedure. You can choose uh, whatever you want, I'm going to just choose UK West because uh, it's near where I live. You can choose as well all versions if you want the Windows, Ubuntu, anything you want. So I'm just going to choose because uh, uh. why not. Uh, I'm going to leave two cores, a gigabyte of RAM because it's the maximum you can have anyways. And for the uh, username I'm going to put this and for the password they're quite annoying, they want something long because they don't want you to get hacked or anything. So I'm just gonna comply to that as so. Leave everything here. We you have to put this if you can use a Windows license and verify plus create. If you've done like me, it should be good. Yes, there was a little X, but don't worry, I'm still going to get accepted. There we go. And we are going to create a so. so this is going to take a bit of time from two, I mean, from one to three minutes. Um, it can happen that it's longer, sometimes it is longer. Uh, also, also, you are... Uh, you can create multiple virtual machines during that hour like as long as you have that hour and as long as you have that key you can create as many as you want although well i i only got like max like 
six in one go. And, and 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 anyways, once your key is done, everything just shuts down. So you you won't be able to do like huge workloads on it. But if you want to, you know, just I don't know, do some testing on multiple machines at once, you can. Uh, also, they don't ban you if you mine. I'm not gonna say that you're allowed to do it or not. But in a way, it's your server, so they may allow it. I don't know. I wouldn't suggest you to do it either ways. Maybe they banned it in the meanwhile. Last time I tried was like months ago. Because yeah, I'm an old champ. And uh, yeah. Great. Okay. So once that's done here, we're going to click to uh, get access to the resource. Uh, it might tell you this, but it's alright. Let's just copy that. And we're going to go to RDP. Paste this there. And normally it's going to ask you to put your. Uh, username and simply gonna put what you have uh, put before and we're just gonna connect um, and after it's gonna simply bring you to your uh, Windows VM and here you have two proper cores um, with an 8 gigabytes of RAM all right so here we're on your server you can do nearly whatever you want it's up to you I uh, just don't have Chrome have Internet Explorer, but, but if you get a more recent version, like a um, like a Windows VM 2019, it'll probably be good. It will probably be good. All right. So now we have talked about GitHub. We have talked about Azure, Azure. I, I don't know how to say that. Um, we are now going to pass to Hyperbeam. Okay. Uh, so Hyperbeam will give you a free RDP. So I will do a little test here. As you can see, it uses um, Hetzner as the servers, and it's going to provide you a free RDP. As you can see, it was on for like 45 minutes. I wasn't even on it. it works perfectly. I don't know if it's 24/7. They don't really talk about it on their website, so I'm not able to really see how long it is. Um, but it, it seems alright. They want to do simple testing online. It could be a good um, idea. So I'm going to quickly show you how to connect to this. Uh, you can simply create an account. So you're going to ask your month, your date of birth, your, your date and your year of birth. After email password, they're going to ask you to confirm and that's it. So I just log back in. Okay. And as you can see, it's still running. Um, that's crazy. Uh, maybe it is 24-7, who knows. Um, but here you are. You can also invite people to join if uh, you want to work like together on the project. This is possible. And uh, yeah, not a lot to say about this one. Uh, quite quick, um, really useful. Like if you want to do quick, easy um, web testing, you have a fast internet, you're able to go on YouTube, watch videos together. Um, as it's meant for, this is meant for watching videos together, stuff like that. So you can definitely try that for sure. Um, let's just try maybe to watch a a very good uh, a very good YouTuber. Um, just put the volume down to zero. Yeah, it works pretty good. Nice video though. I, I would probably subscribe. Luckily, I don't have a. As you can see, it works quite well. Okay, so now that that's done, we have talked about Hyperbeam. We can simply close that, and we're gonna pass. We're gonna go to our last, uh, our last technique that's gonna give you a free web RDP and a free Android uh, phone, an actual Android phone. Uh, for this, I highly, highly, highly recommend you um, getting the GitHub Student Developer Pack because it will give you huge advantages. Let me just find out the page. It's going to give you a free automated mobile mobile plan for one parallel and one user for one year. It's what I have, and it's really good. All right. So um, once you're connected, this is how it looks like. You're able to choose phones with SIMs without sims 
Uh, so you can choose Windows, you can choose Mac, you can choose iOS. You really have lots of uh, choices here. And so we can just do Windows 11 on, let's say, Chrome, and it's gonna start up the connection of Windows 11. Um, as so, I'm just gonna make my screen a bit smaller. Okay. That's so perfect, and normally it should start the browser. Um, we're just gonna go to speedtest.net. Yes, I was looking for some cache before. Turns out you cannot download any files on the phones, quite unfortunate. Because uh, I would use it, but I can't, so it's alright. Um, internet speed is not the fastest, alright. For some, this is going to be insane. In my case, it's alright. Um, it's, it's definitely usable, you can definitely do lots of stuff with it. Although 2000 ping is a kind of shame. Okay, whatever. Um, Although, one thing that you should take into itself is that, like Hyperbeam, this is only a web RDP, you can only use it for web browsing and not for downloading files and testing services. Alright, so now that I've put that out of the way, I'm going to put myself to 100 and back to uh, there. Right, so, we're going to head back to App Live. And uh, in oh, yeah, no, web live, there we go. Uh, because you're able as well to actually try to install stuff, but it's only two minutes, so I wouldn't really put this in the video. Although, if you really want to, you could. Um, we can also do an Android phone. Uh, I can, whatever, I can do this one if I want. Like this. Uh, this is an actual S23. Uh, that you can use as so um, and I'm just gonna simply go to the home page because you can actually use this as a normal phone all right this is usable although you cannot download anything on it and there is no Google Play Store there's no app store there's no store to actually download anything and um, Yeah, you, you, you will be able to do a few things on it, uh, but nothing crazy. And I didn't know there was even videos on it. What the hell? If someone can explain to me what that is. Okay, either ways. Um, so here you can, you can still do a few things, like test out a phone, potentially go on the internet. All of that works. Um, but it wouldn't be, you, it wouldn't be possible, you know, to, to do actual testing. Um, so there you go, guys. I just showed you how to get a free web RDP, a free Windows RDP for free. I hope you like this video. If yes, consider giving it a big thumbs up. It does support me. Thank you for all the support. Recently, we just passed 8,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Let's go for that 10k and I will see you for the next video. Ciao, bye.